Hello, we're going to discuss integrating Alfresco with Microsoft Office. And there are lots of ways to do this. One of the most straightforward is to set up a shared network drive. Here we have a SIS connection or an SMB connection is our Z drive. You can see that we can step through all these sites in Alfresco. Um, we've got two here and we can go all the way in to see what kind of contents in this site. Uh, we also have a web dav connection here is our Y drive. And again, you see that we have the same content available here. Setting this up is really easy. You just go to computer and say map a network drive and then put in the URL for the, uh, the connection URL there. But perhaps a more direct way to integrate is to work directly in Microsoft Office. So uh, if we open up Microsoft Office here, we have uh, an important document and we can come up and say, Let's, uh, well, let's save this document. So we're going to save it to Alfresco. And uh, we're going to do this by using the SharePoint protocol. So Alfresco is going to respond to a SharePoint request. So we put in a SharePoint uh, URL here and say we're connecting to our Alfresco server on port 7070. We we'll give it credentials. And now we can see that same site and go into that site. So Alfresco... Uh, displays the SharePoint sites all the content so uh, we save that and now it's saved up into the net into the network we do have to we authenticate the first time for each type of action so to show you how it worked we'll come into Alfresco share so this is Alfresco share 4.2.e and uh, here's the same inventory control site and we come into the strategic assets folder and here we can see where that file got saved up there it's currently locked because it's still open in, Word, in Microsoft Word and, uh, and Microsoft Word can edit it. So it's locked for editing here. You can see the, the document with, with the version history down here and all the properties, all that sort of thing. So if we come back into Word, just coming on down, the, uh, let's make a change. Uh, we'll correct this code here and then we'll save it and you'll see this saves it back up to the server so now we're uploading to SharePoint which is really Alfresco and this works with uh, Microsoft Office 2007 uh, 2008 on the Mac as well as 2010 and 2011 on the Mac so when we come back into uh, Firefox and to share and we refresh you can see that change has been uploaded that codes corrected and if we come to the version history the, you can see that there's now a new version so when we come into Word one of the nice things is that we can view that version history uh, so we can go in and see that that all those versions appear in the version history and we can also compare against any previous version so let's just compare the last version and you see there's the change where it opens that change tracking in a new document so we'll close that out and not cause any trouble there uh, let's go ahead and close uh, close that out a word and when we come back into Firefox and refresh we have the latest make sure we have the latest version now when we come you'll see that it's unlocked now uh, now we come down and let's revert that change so this is the you know that code was actually correct before so we've reverted that and now we get a new version uh, 1.2 in the version history here and you'll notice that there's an edit online action now and that actually opens word uh, using the SharePoint protocol and you can see where it's downloading from the server So you can see that, that that document's back to the way it was. That code's back to, to have the one at the end. And you can see the new, the new version has been added, the 1.2, with our comment. So it makes it easy for us to, to view those changes and track changes over time. Uh, this works with uh, Word, Excel, you know, all the office, uh, all the office applications. You can also see that anywhere where SharePoint uh, happened, where there's a SharePoint function, it you can use Alfresco. So here you can see that Alfresco is showing up in the current location and the recent locations. Uh, 
you can see that strategic assets folder where our document got saved. So there's good documentation here. If you go to docs.alfresco.com, uh, there's a quick start guide section. And one of those quick starts is the managing content from within Microsoft Office. And this, con this quick start gives you a pretty good introduction to all the functionality. It's based on Office 2007. Uh, but it gives you a, a good understanding of how it works. In 2010, it, they deprecate the idea of a, of a document workspace. So some of that's a little different. Now there's another section as well that talks about configuring the SharePoint protocol support. It goes into all the detail uh, associated with you know different configurations that are necessary. Most of this isn't too too critical, but understand that the SharePoint support is non-encrypted, so there is a lot of detail, uh, a detailed guide to how to set up that encryption. Then, but really, the the only configuration that's necessary for for a basic setup on a local network is to change these two registry keys. The they allow Alfresco only does basic auth connections, and so they allow that uh, Windows doesn't allow basic auth by default. And of course, you need to make sure to set the host name appropriately on the Alfresco server. And so in the Alfresco global properties, uh, it's the VTI server external host property. That's really all it takes to get this going. So good luck and enjoy editing your content.